On its way to the Pacific Ocean, the San Pedro Mezquital runs for 540 kilometers of some of the wildest areas found in the states of Durango, Zacatecas, and Nayarit. A watershed of 2.7 million hectares that connects the Chihuahuan Desert with the Gulf of California. From the pine oak forest of the western Sierra Madre, the river descends to the valleys surrounding the city of Durango, where it becomes the main source of water for an area afflicted by severe droughts. The riparian forest cut through the desert, providing water and shade that allows many species to thrive, including millinery Moctezuma cypress, the national tree of Mexico, and one of the longest living species in the botanical world. Heading west, the river crosses the Sierra Madre through the Mezquitol Canyon, dividing this massive mountain range. After leaving the mountains, the river loaded with sediments enters the tropical valleys of Nayarit, one of the most fertile lands in Mexico. San Pedro Mezquital is the main source of fresh water for Marismas Nacionales, a coastal wetland of over 3,000 square kilometers and the largest mangrove in the Mexican Pacific that accounts for 20% of this ecosystem in Mexico. These mangroves provide a broad range of services for the region, including protection against hurricanes and a habitat for juvenile fishing species. Marismas Nacionales is a key spot for the productivity of the Gulf of California, a region that supports 50% of the fisheries in Mexico. Because of its great biodiversity and importance as a pathway for migratory birds in North America, it is a biosphere reserve and a wetland of international importance by the Ramsar Convention. The survival of Marismas Nacionales depends directly on the rivers that drain into the wetland, especially the San Pedro Mezquital. In this region, the government of Mexico is now working to declare a water reserve, an action that will secure water for the environment and the people. The frequent floods of the San Pedro Mezquital define the life cycles of species such as shrimps or oysters, which together with agriculture and fishing generate almost 100 million US dollars every year. More than 20,000 people directly depend on these floods for their livelihoods. For millennia, humans have relied upon rivers as sources of life and wealth. San Pedro Mezquital has sustained the development of human settlements, agriculture, and cattle, creating a diverse society. However, the river is often regarded only as a water source or a dump, but it is more than that. It is their home, and their future depends upon it. It is a system of life connecting the mountains to the sea, the last free-flowing river of the western Sierra Madre. <laughs>